What's up? My name is Kamil. Today we have Saturday and I'm going to workshop to work on my cars and not just cars. Also on the workshop itself. So let's go. I just arrived in a workshop, as you can probably tell from other videos, this is a bit of a mess. And today I plan on working on Astra, uh, vacuuming my compact, I'll tell you why later, then checking few things on the GTI and trying to clean the mess right here. Before we start with any of that, I just want to say that I love winter. I love when there is snow and when you get to drive on the streets with snow, as crazy as it may sound because it's the most dangerous type of weather. Few, thing, few things I want to tell you about driving on the snow is, if you don't know, maybe you're a brand new driver, um, there are a few tips to make it safer, a bit safer. If you're going downhill, downshift because it will help you lose some speed and it requires less braking power from your regular brakes. That way it's easier to keep traction and being safe. If you are driving on a straight road, try to have as high gear as possible. That way I keep the torque of the car <laughs> as much as it has because let's be honest, the Turing doesn't really have that much torque. I keep it as low as possible because it still can lose traction and it's not that difficult to lose traction because you never know what's under the snow. It can be ice and it doesn't matter how good your tires are. If you drive on the ice, it's basically no traction at all. I mean, try to walk on it. Driving uphill is also like it's for my car, it is difficult to keep the gearing lower when driving uphill because it's a very weak engine, but I also try to do it as much as possible because when you drive uphill and your rear tires are, or front tires, I don't know, it's all mostly for rear wheel drive cars. Uh, when you drive uphill with very low gears and you have high RPMs, it's easy to lose traction when you turn or something. All right, back to the work, but first I have to change. Yeah, so it's gonna go like this forever, but to make it a bit more exciting, I bought this and this. So this, this is sports camera and these are the accessories. I wanna do something more interesting on the channel. I want it to look more interesting. So I know I have to invest a little bit into it and not only time but also money so this is it i got a gift card though so it wasn't that expensive Took a lot of time to sand it, tell you what. Now, what I'm gonna do is vacuum everything because I created a lot of dust. Also, if you wanna support the show, do let me know anything in the comments and subscribe and like, uh, because it really helps with the algorithming my growth. Okay, let's get the vacuum cleaner, where is it? Mm. 
So I took the doors out from the car. It's gonna be a lot easier to paint everything and it was my plan from the beginning. The Astra's Prime. I kind of used the heat gun to heat the paint before um, painting, and I accidentally put the heat gun. Yeah, so this is my pressure air airline. Yeah, I think you can hear the noise it makes. But right now, I cannot do anything about it. I'm gonna have to disassemble it, cut it, and make it a bit shorter. No big deal. We're gonna talk about the car that I haven't done anything to since it got to the workshop. This is BMW E46 Compact. I, I use it as my dress room. I keep my clothes there that I'm coming into the workshop in and last time I discovered a mouse poo so it's time to do some vacuuming, some cleaning and hopefully not finding a lot of damage but if I do I'm gonna put this device that makes annoying noises when you leave it on and I'll keep it somewhere near the car so that anything that is a grisogne is afraid and not goes into the car. Vacuuming of the car is done, I found that they were literally everywhere they could have been. The interior has to be stripped so I can clean everything and make sure that there's no mouse poo in it. I'm not the type of the person who holds any type of the grudge, but those fuckers really messed up when they attacked this car. It's special to me. I love it. I've learned the most with this car that I ever have. It, th there was stuff in the car that I find very special for me. Fortunately, they didn't destroy it, but if they would, I would fucking burn everything down. I, I mean, an eye for an eye would be a good description, but the mouse doesn't have a car that I can shit in. Um, getting off topic. My E46 is the first BMW that I ever had and I absolutely love the car. Why is the car here? Simply because otherwise it would be in a barn where my dad lives and the mouse would be the least of the problems that, I would, that th this car would have. I would probably end up with rats or something like this. What it needs is a little bit of body work and I mean the left seal needs to be replaced, left rocker, and the, the right one needs to be checked. Also, there was previous damage on the rear left quarter of the car that has to be revisited because there's rust on it, and I would just want to get rid of that. Then it obviously needs an interior overhaul. Then there's the engine. I took the engine out of the compact and put it in the silver compact because I had plans for this car uh, for a very long time and they changed quite a few times but doesn't matter what they changed for they involved an engine swap it's just there is different version of the swaps that I wanted to do so I wanted to start with the 330i E46 swap the M54B30 I wanted to put something next level in it and then I decided to do the B204 swap. 
it's a sap engine it's a front wheel drive car and but there is a way to put this engine in e46 and it's not that difficult it's a two liter four cylinder engine and it is known to produce a lot of power what i was aiming for in this car was around 300 and there's another thing I have a M52 B28 right there. It also needs a rebuild just like the M42. Well, we could swap that engine into the compact. We even have a spare transmission. Like it's a five speed, but it would do. But it's, isn't it boring to put a six cylinder NA engine into this car? Let me know what you think because I'm super curious. What do you think? And maybe I did a bit of a spoiler and I won't be able to do like an engine reveal for the build, but I know one thing for sure. I definitely have to start doing something to this car. Otherwise mice will eat it and they will take it over from me. And that's something I really don't want to do. third thing I wanted to do is now done uh, but again we have to clean after cleaning there's just a lot of cleaning while working on cars um, you have to clean shit and then you have to clean after cleaning oh well While doing that, vacuuming and then using brush to, to dust it off again, I was thinking, what's the next thing that we should put on the engine stand? And option A is the M52B28 that I have, oh, I could put it in a compact, but let me know if the sub engine is more interesting swap that, or the M52. The other thing, another engine under the pile of trash is the ABF, which is very known in Volkswagen community. It's two liter naturally aspirated 150 horsepower. Um, and I love the, the way that the power delivery is. I love everything about this engine. Now that I gave you like a bunch of ideas to put comments in the comment section we also have a lot of um moving to do because i want to put workbench right here where the shelves are and the shelves back um where the workbench is mainly because i have put the uh, air compressor under the workbench and it's there's no power outlets near the workbench so it's a lot easier for me to just move everything then to use an extension cord that I sometimes want to use somewhere else.
I set up the camera and didn't record how I got the shelves out of here. Nice! That was the easy part because making mess is always easy. Um, now it's the more difficult part, which is rearrange everything that way so that I can keep it clean. The way it was, it was unsustainable. And at the moment I'm really looking to keep everything clean. I think I'm gonna need to get a lot of like containers, stuff like this to sort the parts, to put them somewhere. And unfortunately, today is a bit too late to buy that. I think it's a lot more organized, but because of that, I don't really have enough storage space, which means I need another shelf. I'll try to get home today, um, eat anything and quickly go to the store to get a shelf. Maybe I'll be able to do it. If not, then too bad. Um, I also need plenty of containers. And I know it doesn't look like we are getting any better, but trust me, we are. It's just, I don't want to put everything into one place again, uh, because I want to stay organized, which means it's going to take more time, but it's going to be better. This is how I look as a civilian. Um, so no hat, pretty baldy hair and regular clothes. So I start today at home because yesterday I did a poll, poll on Instagram and I want to check what was the decision. So I really haven't checked it. Wait. Oh shit. Bad code. I'm using my old phone. Okay. So you can see me and the phone. Instagram. It's pretty slow. And uh, no. All right. So there's five. It was a vote about what engine should I? Come on. What engine? Come on. What engine should I put on the engine stand right now? And there's five votes for EBF and eight for M52. So let's go to workshop and do this. Do a bunch more, but first we have to feed the beasts. front windshield needs to be like cleaned <laughs> and I got this from a subscriber so let's give it a shot
the scraper, manual scraper, obviously had to work. Uh, but it's nice to have a brand new one since my last one broke. But the spray, Kadva Alaska stuff and I never used something like this it does work it started melting the snow I think right now with the wipers I would be able to just get it off so thank you again Yeah, gotta get that blood flowing. Um, so the plan for today, I really want to paint this, but I don't think it's gonna be possible. It's uh, minus four degrees at the moment, uh, outside and inside, because the workshop is not heated. What I'm gonna start with is get a little bit of that mess that I made yesterday gone. I want to do a bit more cleaning, which is pretty important for me. After that, we're gonna go to Astra, and start take take all the tape off and do some body filler and perhaps later take care of gti Woo! it's so cold Right, and that's it for now with the cleaning part. It, what I'm going to do now is wait for Monday. On Monday, I'm gonna go buy the shelves, um, bring them here, assemble them, and start putting all the parts where they should be. I have no idea what to do with it. Um, the story of the engine is I was looking for the M42 for my Touring and this one came up for sale, so I bought it. And then um, the M42 came up for sale, so I also bought it. And well, now I have two engines and not enough cars. The one, one thing is we can do something crazy with this and then put it into the Touring after a season of running M42. The, my idea is we can either get a new project car for the engine, so it's obviously the other way around, but who cares. Or we can put this engine in my compact, the 2.8 liter E46 compact. Well, I wouldn't mind it, I wanted to put the B204, like I said, um, the Saab engine. This would be a lot easier to do, definitely. But would it be better, would it be cooler to watch? I'll just wait and ask your opinion on it. It's a show, right? I do it for you guys. 
So what now, you may ask? Well, uh, this thing. Woo! Just finished recording the video about Astra, and to be honest, I can give you a... Well, it's gonna be uploaded before this one, so I can tell you. If you haven't watched it, uh, I'll appreciate if you do. Um, una I'm unable to do anything because the, the primer is still not hardened enough. If you're watching this video, you can probably tell that I like doing stuff DIY and it doesn't work only just for cars. I also like doing stuff with furniture. I'm not doing those a lot because of the time issues. It takes a while to do stuff. But I do, so this is one part of a three parts desk and I want to refurbish it and keep and use it. So right here you can see that it is peeling off already and I can even take it off with my finger. Like the, the how to take it off is pretty cool. I mean you can scrape it and play with it but I, I like other stuff. So much easier. Well, I finished working on my furniture and now it's time to go back to cars. And the plan for today is to, I mean, Okay, I'm gonna start with saying that I know there's a lot of mess around the car and I should prepare the environment to work on the project a little bit more, but I'm in the process of remodeling the workshop, restructuring everything, and it is what it is. I have some daylight to use and I do want to use it. So without further ado, what we will do today. We are starting to do the body work. I'll end this episode here. If you want to see more episodes like this, shorter, longer, more edit, less edit, let me know. And I'll see you in the comment section and in the next video. Bye.